Now the only way a four point could qualify for our don't get no respect club, of course, is on the length of the tine. This spread right here is 14 inches, which is about as much as you're going to get on a, on a four point. Uh, like I said, it only has four antler points, but it does have ten and a half inch tines. Probably this tine over here is ten yeah. and a half. Right. Now that's a big boy. You decided just to have the antlers on the plaque, huh? Yeah. Uh, this is like the smallest buck I've got in three years. Is that right? Yeah. So. But it's funny. It's small enough, but with long enough tines to get you on big buck night. Correct. Bob Coots from Ionia. Congratulations there, Bob. Thank you. We'll give you respect for this one. Okay. <laughs> I've been wanting to be on the show for 30 years, and... <laughs> Finally did it, but this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Hey, it, it, it did the job. Okay. I toyed around with what I might call this next segment. It's one that I saved out from Big Buck Night. I was originally going to have it as a part of Big Buck Night, but there were just too many huge bucks, and I didn't want to take time for the spikes. This is what we call a spike buck. I mean, the antlers oftentimes look like a spike. This is one of the many bucks I've taken like this that is a year and a half old buck. It's a small one, but it's legal. But it's not a trophy, uh, I guess, in the traditional sense of a trophy. But there are trophies that are big spikes, and I guess we might as well call this Big Spike Night. Brian Donahue from Sandusky got this one. Now, this just qualifies. This is the smallest buck that you can get to qualify for our Marvel's Hunting Awards. It has 10-inch tines. Only two of them, mind you. <laughs> but Brian, what do you think about that as a trophy? Yeah, it's still a big buck to me. Well, you got a, a spike, what, in 1997? In 97, yeah, I got a 5-inch spike. Five in you doubled it. Yeah, I'm getting better. Twice as big. <laughs> well, congratulations, Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Fred. From Ingham County, we have a spike longer than a foot. In fact, it's about 12 and a quarter inches long. Which one is this, Mark? This one here. This one here. So that, that comes out. And it has a little, does that qualify as a point or not? No, it's not, not quite an inch. Not quite an inch. So that's not a three-pointer that qualifies as a spike. Well, you are. Uh, Mark Kucharik from Weberville. Yep. Are you a professional spike hunter? Uh, well, this time I was. <laughs> he, uh, a couple weeks before the season, he broke my 3D target broke the head off and was pushing it around on the ground and uh, uh, second day he finally came in I was I was kind of scrape hunting well and, yeah you uh, have that on your application you were scrape hunting but yeah. this buck was kind of like a dominant breeding buck then yeah it was a two-year-old he um, well he beat up my he was dominant of my target <laughs> that's for sure. well congratulations that, that gets you on a uh, big spike night Mark right. Kucharik from Weberville oh Jackson County has some big spikes Look at this one here. This is 12 and a half inches long, and this was taken by a lady hunter. In fact, you're a student, aren't you, Kim? Yeah. What grade? Tenth. At what, Leslie High School? Yep. And you must be the envy of your class being here on Big Spike <laughs> Night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, how many years you been hunting? This is my first year. Cool. I heard there was some phenomenal story behind this huge spike. Yeah, um, I went out the day before Saturday, and we stayed out there for about half a day and I froze to death and we didn't see nothing so when the next day when my dad asked me if I wanted to go I said no and he said okay and he went out the door and I asked my mom to stop him and that I did want to go and she did and he came back in and I got a whole bunch of clothes on and went out and when we got to the woods it took us about 20 minutes to walk back and then uh, so he drops me off at my tree stand first and then he goes to his so I was all settled in my tree stand, and he went over to his. Well, about 5 o'clock, I had seen two deer off about 100, 150 yards away. So I, I thought my dad seen them too. So I was just watching them. And also my dad comes on the radio trying to get my uncle real loud. He, hey, Robbie, on the radio. So I got on that radio as quick as I could, and I said, Dad, be quiet. There's deer between us. So he he had his volume turned down real low so all he heard was deer so he looked through his scope and he seen him and he come back on the radio and he said yeah Kim and one of them's a buck <laughs> so by this time I had lost him so I was looking around for some more deer meanwhile my dad seen them and the doe went and the buck split off from the doe and the buck started coming toward me well I was looking around and all of a sudden I looked up and here was a buck right in front of me so I got up my scope and 
when he had put his head down, I looked through the scope, and at first, <laughs> I thought his horns were his big ears, but <laughs> but then I seen through my scope that they were horns. Whoa, and that was this one? Yeah. And you got him? Just one shot? Yeah, one shot. Well, uh, uh, what inspired you to go hunting? Well, I, when I took hunter safety this year, was, I thought it was kind of cool, and my family is big hunters, so mm -hmm. I thought it was... I thought it would be neat, so I tried it this year. Hey, well, you did very good. Kim Bailey, I think we should have a round of Thank applause you. for her. First year hunter. Way to go. And this big spike is 13 and a quarter inches. That is quite a bow to it. That, you know, we think of spikes just being little bing, spikes that stick up. But these bigger ones have a lot of character to the rack. Uh, Richard Kramer from St. John's got this. You got this on the second day of the season. You said pushing? Yes. You were driving already? Yeah, I'm not much for setting. <laughs> I see. You get a little antsy. Well, did you see any other bucks? or? No, that was only one for the day. Uh, opening morning, my dad and brother both took one. Huh. Yeah, one meaning? One each. Buck or spike? Bucks. Bigger than this? Uh, more points. More points? <laughs> but not, not a, a bigger spike. I mean, as a spike, I think spikes like this are cool that are over a foot long. What do you think? Yeah, I kind of like this one. You do well. It's a it's a beautiful spike, and it's uh, I think I think the second largest one we have right here. So congratulations, Richard Kramer. Thank from you, St. John's. And the big spike, 14 and a half inches. Had to go up north for this one, Montmorency County. We got this on the second day of the season. Richard Ty from Ortonville. Richard, that's an awesome spike. It is to me. Now, are you going to have this mounted? Yes, I am. That's great. That is great. That's a 14 and a half inches, that longest one there. How old did the DNR say this was? Between two and a half and three years. So it's uh, an older buck. Yep. So that idea that spikes are just a little six month old or year and a half old really isn't necessarily true. Well, that's a, that thing has been polished against yeah. the, the cedars or what? Was that in the? No, just down in the open oaks and pines mixture. Hmm. Well, that's outstanding. That'll make a, a, a great mount for you. And you got the biggest spike here on Big Spike Night. You're the spikester. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, here we are with the beginning, I think, of a tradition. I didn't know whether to call this, you've come a long way, baby. You see? <laughs> I guess this was not really a baby. It's probably a year and a half old. But that's one of my early spikes. And this is really what a spike looks like. I uh, thought about calling this, don't get no respect night, you know, I mean, for these awards. But I think these bucks do get respect from hunters, don't you folks? Yes. yes well, I, I, they sure do. Now, here they are, the bucks on Big Spike Night, now a tradition that will take place the first week after Big Buck Night. What do you think of that? <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs>